So what we're going to do here is set up the calculator so it can do some difference quotients for us um, to speed up filling in tables and investigations and things like that. So um, uh, hopefully by now you're kind of familiar with the geometry of difference quotients. So the first one I'm going to set up is uh, the symmetric difference quotient. So uh, call it that and make it a function of x and h. So control equals. This takes a point to the right of the point we're interested in and a point to the left of um, the point we're interested in and finds the slope of the secant line through those two points so that's what I've done here and then I'll set up a right difference quotient also a function of these and that takes a point to the right of the point that we're interested in and it takes the point we're interested in finds the slope of the secant line through those and then ultimately we uh, want to take a limit as h approaches 0 for each of these and see what happens. The right difference quotient is the uh, most commonly used. And then left, so I'm taking a, the point I'm interested in, which is x, f of x, a point to the left of it, and finding the slope of the secant line through that point. So I get all those. Um, and now what I want to do is uh, define my function, which is sine of 2x in this case like that. And now I'm going to do some difference quotients. Um, well, I could type it, but they're all stored now. So I'm going to do uh, my symmetrics different, symmetric difference quotient at, um, let's say, pi over 8 using uh, h is 0.1. And I get that. I can change, uh, make it a little more general here, 8, such that h equals this just so I can more conveniently change h like that. So h is getting smaller. You can see it's, uh, to me, it's kind of clearly zeroing in on something. Uh, here I got consecutive values, so uh, this is uh, probably correct out to five decimal places. Let's see uh, what the right difference quotient gives me. So press the my var key, right difference, pi over eight again, comma h, do a such that h equals, and let's see, 0.1. That's not very similar to what I had before. That's a little more similar. And uh, now we're zeroing in. Kind of takes a little more time here. So let's see here. If I go uh, point, let's go really small. I get that, which agrees with this, at least to five decimal places. So you can see we're getting the same value out of each of them. And then finally, do the left difference quotient. At the rate comma h, sets it at h equals. Um, and in this case, I'm going to put in a couple at one time. 0 0.01 comma 0 0.01 comma 0 0.01. And let's see what I get. Um, I get that. And you can see the left one uh, still doesn't agree to five decimal places. Uh, so it just kind of converges on the uh, actual value a little more slowly than the right in the symmetric in this particular case. It's not always the case, but um, okay, so that's what we're doing. And uh, remember, it, it's easy to lose sight of like everything that we just did here is really just to approximate the slope of f of x, which in this case is sine of 2x at, um, at the point where x is pi over 8. So feel pretty confident in saying that the slope there is uh, 1.41421, at least to five decimal places. And uh, let's see, uh, that's really close to that, or maybe it is that. Um, so that's interesting, and hopefully we'll you know, get to the point that we can look at that a little more. But uh, that's symmetric difference quotients, is a difference quotient, and that was hard to say, uh, on the Inspire. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.